So we're here with a pretty special one-off, specialised, epic S-Works. Uh, it's Simon Andreasen, he's junior XC world champion and cyclocross champion, so pretty fast guy. So I guess the thing that stands out the most is this one-off hand-painted frame. It's painted by a guy specialised who's done a bike for Ken Block, if you know that name from Rallycross. A helmet for Aaron Gwynn, if, if you look at it, the attention to detail is amazing. Loads of glittery stuff on the top tube, loads of cool one-off touches down all over the frame really. As you'd expect again from these top cross-country bikes, it's super light, weighs in at about £22. It's full SRAM XX1 group set. Up front you've got the RockShox RS1 fork, that's that upside down cross country fork that's super lightweight, stiff, and you really see that on the top end guys on the cross country circuit. 95 mil travel on the back, normally the RockShox RS1s are 100 mil travel but they're actually custom tuned down to 90 mil. Some S-Works flat bars up front, they're coming in at 700 mil wide and as you'll notice here they've got these pretty special uh, rainbow stripes foam grips, absolutely uh, Pretty special piece of kit there. It's a zip stem up front, 110 mil long and minus 17 degree rise on there. So again, dropping that front end down. Garmin up front, pretty standard fare for the cross country guys now. As you can see, we've got the Quark power crank that's actually sending power readings up to the Garmin. So that's a pretty handy thing the guys are using to keep track of power for training and also racing nowadays. You've got the carbon roval rims, uh, 29ers obviously, and you've got the S-Works fast track tires. So they're two inches wide, pretty fast rolling tire. As you can see, it's a low, low profile on there, really fast tire. Pedals, you've got some pretty trick look, S-Track. They've got carbon fiber bodies with titanium spindles. Gearing wise, we've got one by 11, 36 tooth chambering up front. So relatively large I suppose and then we've got a 1042 cassette on the back so real big spread of gears like you see most guys nowadays running the 1x11. Moving back on the bike we've got S-Works everything really, S-Works toop seat and a carbon S-Works post obviously running it super high. If it was me again I'd stick a dropper post on there but I'm not a pro XC racer. <laughs> got a Fox brain shock on the back um, you know it's a really firm shock for cross country but the brain what it works on is an inertia valve so when you hit a big bump that actually opens up so that's when it starts working the rest of the time it's nice and firm so it's super fast to pedal on the fork we've got a special brain system in this rock shocks rs1 fork so both ends using that brain system brakes again sram as you'd expect they're the guide ultimates up here Rotor size, uh, he's running 160 front and back. The standard specialized S-Works Epic comes in at $10,000 with this one-off paint job and these grips. I know, let's say 20, sounds about right. And we've got his mechanic, Brad. So Brad, what's so cool about the bike? What's your favorite feature on here? Well, it's pretty hard to miss the, uh, the paint job. This is a, a custom paint job by one of my colleagues that specialized by the name of Tony Bowman. Uh, he's a longtime friend of mine and he does amazing work um, with, his, with his airbrush at home. This is a kind of a side, a side gig for him, but um, he's gotten a lot of recognition lately for some work he's done on other athletes' bikes as well as some uh, athletes of other sports as well. So we've bought some bikes from Specialized and had them painted up. Um, it's, hard to, it's hard to miss this bike in the pits. It, it really shines. Um, of course, the grips stand out, catch the eye as well. These are custom from uh, ESI. They hooked up Simon with these grips when he won uh, the Mountain Bike World Championships last year. Sweet. Also, going up to the fork, you got the uh, RockShox RS1 with a brain system. That's something that I've not seen before. Yep, this is something that we've been using in our forks and specialized for quite a while. Uh, we've had them on the SIDS in the past, also the Reba uh, a few years back. And now that we've moved um, our pros over to the RS1, uh, we've had RockShox collaborate with us to develop a brain system for that fork as well. So it functions just like the rear of the bike does, where it's activated by uh, impacts of the wheel as opposed to rider impact. Uh, keeps the fork locked out for the most part uh, under pedaling effort when climbing, etc. Of course, when uh, the going gets rough, if things open up front and rear and the bike becomes fully active, it's probably the most uh, efficient suspension bike on the market today. If you want to check out more tech stuff, have a look at our how to set up your gears up here with Sai, or click on Suspension Explain with Mark down here. Also, click on me if you want to subscribe to GMBM.